Hello, Michelle. How's it going today? Hey, Lindsay. Good, good. Lindsay, what's New Hampshire like? What's New Hampshire like? It's very woodsy, Michelle. Very woodsy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's did you, rural. Yeah. Did you like growing up there? Yeah, I kind of felt it was boring. Yeah. You know, that's why I lived in Tokyo and New York and Boston yeah. and all these cities after, after uh, high school. And I left New Hampshire when I was 18 for college. I just felt it was a little small. Yeah, yeah. a little small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, clearly yeah. you're like getting out there and uh, traveling there. and all sorts yes. of things so um yeah. today we have this is i'm really excited about this episode <laughs> I'm gonna cool it's gonna be fun um because we are going to talk about the united states the states in the states um and <laughs> it's because we have a listener question that is a really interesting one so before we get into it we want to remind you to listen to episode 2233 of the all ears english podcast that was ugh, oops oh no put everything <laughs> into english so i wanted to connect it to this one because just another fun episode a fun light-hearted good one that can be super helpful as well yeah, cultural episodes. You know, today's yeah. episode is kind of a cultural episode, which I it love. Is. I think there's a lot of curiosity about the U.S. and the states and kind of the culture here. So I'm going to go ahead and read the question from Vlad Armstrong on YouTube. Guys, don't forget, All Ears English is on YouTube. Yep. Hit subscribe over there on our channel and you can watch us talk to each other uh, five <laughs> days a week. And it's awesome. So <laughs> yes, love it. Here we go. All right. So Vlad says, hello there. I have a question and here it goes. How can I pre uh, correctly pronounce the names of some states like Arizona, California, etc.? You clearly say Arizona in episodes, but I've heard another version of pronunciation and my brain freaks out. <laughs> oh, no, brain don't uh -oh, freak we out. We don't want that. We don't no. want that. Um, I hope you could settle a beef inside my head around <laughs> this pronunciation dilemma. Oh, I love that this listener is playing around with some fun uh, vocabulary. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Good yep. stuff. So, Lindsay, who says Arizona? I have no idea who this is. Uh, there's only four of us on the podcast here. So we're going to have to come down to it and figure it out. So Vlad, let us know where you're hearing this. I have never heard this from our podcasting team. I've never heard it in general. Have you? Arizona? No, no I haven't. I mean, maybe somebody said it as a joke once. I don't know. I, Aubrey lives in Arizona. So I'm right. going to say it was Aubrey. No, but also that would mean <laughs> Aubrey knows better than anyone how to say it. So who who knows? Who we knows? Don't know. Yeah. Um, but yes, it is Arizona, right, Lindsay? <laughs> yes, correct. Right. It's not an E sound. Era, it's more of an uh sound, like a schwa sound. Arizona. 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 Right. So, and how do we mm -hmm. spell that? Mm. A R I Z O N A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. we figured we would take this opportunity to go over, like our listener asked, some of the states and how to pronounce them because they can be tricky. I actually just pulled up a list of the states. Lindsay, do you have all the states memorized? Memorized? Um, I mean, could you? Like, I, well, I, I mean, would, like to could you? No, 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 just no, no. to spit them off in my could mind. Could you? Just... Could you? If I said list all the fifty states right now, would you be able to do it? Right now, um, I'd probably miss a few. Exactly. And yeah, but <laughs> then you would hear that there was a Friends episode where they were trying to list them and then it was so hard. And then oh, no. Ross was going crazy. And at the end, he realized he forgot Delaware. So, oh, it's such a small state. Small wonder is the uh, yeah. is the slogan for, because it's a tiny state, Delaware. Yeah, but it's very tiny. Small. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, but today we're just talking about the ones that can be particularly confusing, right? right because right. of spelling. Is that is that what it is, Michelle? Yeah, or? yeah, mostly because yeah. of spelling. Because I went through the list and I picked out some of the ones that I felt might be the trickiest. Um, so, yeah, we can also talk about these places. Have do we have any connection to them? Have we been there? So, of course. Um, it's going to be fun to talk about that today. So we were. Uh, also asked about California or California was mentioned in that listener's question. So pronunciation yeah. here, California, California. It, yeah, California. But do you feel like it sounds more like an uh, like Cala, California, Cala, yeah. the the I, Ooh. does it sound more California. like an uh when you say it or an I? California. California. Do you Ooh. say California or Ooh. California? Okay. Because I oh, say gosh, California, no. California. Cal um okay california california <laughs> Ca california. california you know what i think you could say either one i've never thought about yeah, you this can say california, california. Cali i think you can say either they're so close here but the but the yeah. important thing is the yeah 
right? Mm-hmm. California. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And the other important thing to keep in mind is a lot of Californians call California Cali. Um, right. But we don't say California when we put it together as the full state name. Okay. Good point. Yeah. So this is spelled C A L I F O R N I A. Boom. There you go. <laughs> and I have a lot of mixed feelings about California, but yeah. the thing that we need to know is Southern California is always beautiful. <laughs> the weather yeah. is amazing. You know, 365 days a year. <laughs> yep. 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 So uh, what's I'd next, like to go Michelle? back again. Um, yeah, you the should. next one is Arkansas. Yes. Okay. This, this one's one. A, yeah. This well, one. Come on. Well, and I think the reason that this state is problematic is not so much because of the state itself. It's because of another state and that's yeah. Kansas. Yeah. Right. So right. let's talk about this. spell. when I was a kid, I would see our Kansas and Kansas. <laughs> and I got oh, so confused. So Why? Our we, Kansas. Oh our my Kansas. gosh. In my I mind never as a thought kid, about that. of course, if there was a state called Kansas, then Arkansas must be our Kansas. Our Kansas. Right. But it's not right it's oh not. man okay <laughs> yeah that's that's tricky and and also so arkansas so it's spelled r kansas as lindsay said so a r k a n s a s so it doesn't make sense that it's s a s arkansas 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 or kansas no and, kansas? and kansas the other state more toward more in the plain states right closer to colorado out here mm-hmm has a different intonation so that spelling is there k-a-n-s-a-s but it's mm-hmm. kansas right the stress is versus different. kansas arkansas arkansas okay. so totally different but yeah i yeah. can definitely see why someone would say oh it's our kansas not yeah. our kansas exactly <laughs> exactly oh so funny so don't make that don't fall into that little trap that i did as a kid no, eventually no, no, i figured that cute. out but <laughs> <laughs> um the next one is georgia Yes. So this is interesting because, well, number one, it could be confusing because of the G and the J. So it is spelled with a G. Right. It's spelled mm-hmm. like the name George, G E O R G I A. And yes. But California has the yeah, but Georgia yeah. is not Georgia. Well, that's a good point. That's I mean, it kind point. of is. I mean, it, it's, it's like fat. Georgia. It's like Geor- Georgia. No, it's Georgia. Georgia. No, it's not Georgia. That's a good point. <clears throat> so we can't always infer based on the spelling that uh, how it's going to sound um yeah. this one can be a little easier because it's a woman's name it's actually my mom's name georgia oh uh, oh i knew that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 and it's a beautiful name i think um it is and beautiful. you know it's so yeah i mean go visit georgia why not <laughs> yep 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 <laughs> Yeah. So let's move to the next one. Okay, Lindsay, what's the next one? And oh my goodness. Okay. Also especially confusing because of <laughs> well, it doesn't it's not spoken the way it's spelled. So yeah. Illinois. And again, this is another one as a kid. I used to think Illinois. Right, exactly. Illinois. Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> sure. Why? Because uh, how do we spell Because there's it? an S at the end. So yes. yeah. It's spelled I L L I N O I L s illinois but we don't yes. pronounce the s we say illinois yeah interesting of course this is where chicago, chicago we find the beautiful city of chicago which i love chicago michelle for the food mm-hmm. culture mm-hmm. yes the pizza <laughs> pizza and just it has a really elevated food scene really um, i've only i've only been yeah. once like 15 years ago but i i i really liked it it was i liked how in um in Chicago, I liked how the water was just in the middle of the city, right? Yeah. In, in New York, it's really on either side. Yeah, and you got, you, I, cool. I liked how you would just, oh, there's the water. So there's a little canals and things. Yeah. That is really cool. And Chicago in May is beautiful. And actually, we take you to Chicago to a diner, an elevated diner mm-hmm. in our Connected Communicator course. We'll tell you a bit more about that, guys, later in the episode. But just keep that in mind. We're going to take yeah. a quick break and come back. Right. right. Okay, Michelle, we're back for another tricky state. Yes. What is it? Louisiana. Louisiana. Oh, man. Why is this one tricky to pronounce and spell? Well, it could look like the name Lewis, right? So Lewis, uh, but it's actually, there. there is a name Louise, right? So it's just sure. a, a confused, so it's spelled L-O-U-I-S-I-A-N-A. What do you think of this one? Have you been to Louisiana? 
Yeah, New Orleans, yep, of course. Same. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's cool. There's a lot of French influence, obviously, in Louisiana. Um, check out New Orleans if you get a chance, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Now the next one is, is where you live. Where I'm living. I'm going to tell you. Well, Michelle, in your mind, how do you pronounce this state? Because I didn't know. I didn't know how to pronounce it correctly until I got here, and I was Wait. corrected immediately. Wait, really? Yeah. I pronounce it Colorado. <laughs> so oh. that's actually according to the locals now you could get away with that on the east coast but if uh-huh. you came to colorado you wouldn't get away with that it's actually colorado colorado, colorado. in the same way what about uh the state nevada? nearby sorry nevada yeah exactly yep. it's that same so on the east coast i always thought it was nevada, nevada. but it's actually asked jessica she grew up there it's nevada mm-hmm. and it's colorado Colorado. 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 Yeah. So oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I yeah. I okay. Well, you learn something new every day. Yeah. I you never do. I never knew that. But you it do. it's it looks like it could be color a do, right? I mean it's color <laughs> It's C O L O R A D O. I C-O-L-O-R-A-D. love that. C-O-L-O-R-A-D. Color it. Yeah. Color it. Oh, I'll have to share that with the locals and see what they have to say yeah, about yeah, that. They're very, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say that Colorado is an interesting. Colorado. See, yeah. I still make the mistake, right? Yeah. Uh, it's an interesting state. I've never lived in a place or visited a place where people have such a strong state identity. Yeah. Um, people, everyone here has a flag, a Colorado flag oh, wow. in their basement or their house or in front of their house. Oh, wow. And it's, it's a strange thing just because there's been a lot of migration here from the coasts and people mm-hmm. when there's a lot of sunshine, it's a great place to live, but I've never seen mm-hmm. people get so into this idea of I'm from here and I'm proud of it. Mm-hmm. I don't know, mm-hmm. maybe New York, but it's not the same. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting, but we can go into that another. Yeah, day. that is so. yeah. State state pride, pride for yeah, state, state pride, definitely. state pride. Okay, now <sighs> okay. Do we have time for a few more? Let Let's do one more. Pick your favorite. Okay, Michelle, you. Uh, then... mm, how about you pick your favorite? All right. Well, so Mississippi has always been my favorite because mm-hmm. this was a little jingle. Yep. Um, you know, how do you spell M I S S I S S I P P I, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, why is this one? I suppose if you slow down and look at the way it's spelled, you mm-hmm. can get it right when it comes to pronouncing it. Don't you right. Think? Right. But I wanted to bring this one up because when you see it, it's like whoa it just looks i mean i'm staring at the word now it looks crazy it could yeah. be miss miss cc pp right it's like it's right. very confusing just to look at so i wanted yeah. to highlight this yes it's true if you take the time and you take a look at it you could break it down but just seeing it all in once is it's a little bit overwhelming i think yeah and you do want to slow down here because we also encounter this word uh, in more places than just the state the mississippi river cuts down yep. kind of the mid uh yep. the an important part of i would call that the what is that it's not the midwest it's sort of the uh, south almost the south yeah it cuts yeah. down the middle of the country so you're going to see that in a lot of different places right, right. Okay. it's not just about the state yep um so yeah Lindsay, do you have a favorite state that is such a complicated question (laughs) for me michelle because i've traveled a lot i love the different cultures and the different states i'm gonna pass i'm gonna uh, throw that to you do you have a favorite state (laughs) um do i have a favorite state well it's funny i feel like i you know i have more favorite cities than favorite states so Mm. i mean i i new york is definitely my favorite state in the u.s yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, be, I mean, New York is my favorite city. Do I know New York State so well? No. Uh, it, so it's more to me about the city. Okay. Uh, I so if I had to pick a favorite state, I would say New York. But I got it. I don't know New York well, so well. I mean, upstate New York is very different from New York City. Right. Exactly. So, <laughs> so I think it's more about the city than the state because yeah. 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 And Michelle, I feel like we just have to invite our listeners into Connected Communicator right. because this is exactly what we do. We take you on a 12,314 mile journey around the United States with me by recorded video lesson. Okay. Yeah. So I got in my car, I bought a camera, I rented a Chevy Malibu and just started driving West. 
Uh, and I stopped in all sorts of places, the Rust Belt, uh, Wyoming, to see the Wild West, California, Texas, the Deep South. We learn about so many complicated topics and how to talk about them. So yeah. it's really a cultural conversations course. That's really what it is, right? Yep. Yep. Um, and exactly. so guys, yeah, Michelle, any thoughts on that? Anything to, to say? Well, about I just that love course? how, I just love how everything is so, um, natural, how you actually went and interviewed people for the yeah. course. These, these were totally on planned. And that's how we like to do things here at All Ears English a lot of the time is just have things naturally come about so you can hear the real English. And also the fact that you're hearing it from different places, different dialects, different uh, opinions, just there's so much because it's a big country and Lindsay took a big trip. It's an incredible adventure. It's been called the most unique English course on the internet. Of course, call that by us, but <laughs> we, th we, think, we think it is the most unique English course on the internet, guys. So go and check it out. Go to allersenglish.com slash connection and yeah. join the adventure. Right? Come along with us, get in the car with me, and let's go across the country together. All right? Yep. Michelle? Should we sneak in a quick role play? What do you think? I think we can do it, guys. There might be some it. we didn't do, um, and we're, we're just yes. sprinkling in a few, but we'll, we can bring yeah. it up when we go over it. Okay, here we are. Uh, we right, are so, friends mm -hmm, talking yep. about our summer plans. Okay. Here we go. Here we yes. go. Okay. So, yeah, we will be out of town for a week in August. Oh, are you going to your place in Georgia? No, we're going to visit Bill's parents in Arkansas. Oh, okay, got it. I don't know why. I thought they were from Mississippi. No, that's his aunt. She lives there. Oh, right, 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 right. So, we'll, well, I'll be off in Michigan for two weeks, then off to Virginia. Sounds like a nice trip. Oh, we're just going all over the place here. <laughs> yeah, we're nice. bouncing around the country. We love road trips. So I mentioned Georgia. Are you going to your place in Georgia? Mm -hmm. And then you said no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Right. I said no. We're going to Bill's parents in Arkansas. And then our favorite Mississippi came in here. I thought they were from Mississippi. And again, guys, when you see that, just slow down and yeah. voice every syllable. You can get it right if you just, it's not tricky in the sense that it's going to confuse you like California or Georgia at the end. Just repeat mm -hmm. the, say the syllables, Mississippi, yep. and then put it together. Mississippi. You got it. Yeah. And then uh, you said, I'll be off to Michigan for two weeks. So Michigan, I put in, but um, we didn't have a chance to talk about it. But basically, it's spelled M-I-C-H, but right. it's pronounced M-I-S-H. It's actually like Michelle, right? Michelle oh, is also yeah, M-I-C-H, but it's pronounced Mish, right? So Michigan, M-I-C-H-I-G-A-N, but it's pronounced Michigan, not Michigan. And yes. who knows though? Maybe in, maybe people in Michigan actually say Michigan. Who knows? <laughs> you do have to ask the locals about That's these true. things. It's true. It's true. Uh, and then off to Virginia. Nice. Love it. What's the takeaway today, Michelle? Where should we leave our listeners? I'm feeling inspired to go take another road trip. Yeah. I don't know about you. <laughs> Um, well, this was such a great question. We can do a whole follow up on city names um, and lots of other things about the state. So if you have more questions on this topic, definitely send them in to support at allearsenglish.com. We'll get to them. And this was just a lot of fun. Definitely also made me want to travel. <laughs> yeah, guys, go over to allersenglish.com slash connection, join the course and then take your own road trip as well. Right. If you're living in the U.S. or visiting the U.S., see New York, see LA, but then rent a car and take like a day if you have it, even just a day and go out into the Wild West, go through rural New England, for example, and see what it's like in the countryside, because that's yeah. where we really get a sense of what the country's like. Definitely. Love it. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for that question. And thanks for hanging out with me, Lindsay, in the USA. All right. Sounds good, Michelle. Talk to you soon. Right. Bye. Bye.